Ashley, the library lady. And today I have a hint that we've seen before. So if you've seen this before, you might know what our hint is already. Let's see. I just love playing with puzzles, don't you? Does this one go here? It does. And we have one more piece. It sort of fits that way like he's looking backwards. But it's supposed to go this way like he's looking forwards. What is that? Did someone say it's a duck? It is the duck. Now why would I have the duck puzzle out again? Hmm, maybe we could ask Cinco. Let's call him out. Ready? One, two, three. Cinco! Cinco, I have the duck puzzle out again. Last time we had it out, we were talking about water because it is a duck that swims on the water. But what are we talking about this time? Birds. Birds. I love birds. I'm ready for our first book. Let's take a look at this book by Mo Willems. It's called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Are you ready to read this with me? It's a very famous book. Some of you might already know it. I'll try to do the voices. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the B-U-S bus. There he goes, sunshines. He's trusting us. Are we going to help? Get ready to help with me. I thought he'd never leave. Here comes the pigeon. Hey, can I drive the bus? What do we say, sunshines? No. Please, I'll be careful. Should we let the pigeon drive the bus? No. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. No, Pigeon, no. <laughs> True story. Do you think the Pigeon has a cousin who drives a bus? I think he's telling a fib. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Should we let him? No. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Sunshines, should we let him? No. <laughs> no, pigeon. Come on, just once around the block. What do we say, sunshines? No. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? Would that work on you? Would you let a bird drive a bus if he gave you five dollars? No, that's not safe. No fair. I bet your mom would let me. Would your adult let a pigeon drive a bus? I don't think so. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. What do we say? <laughs> no. Fine. Let me drive the bus! Pigeon is angry. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Did we? No, we didn't. Great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Look at Pigeon. So disappointed. But I think it was for his own good. It's not very safe to let a little bird drive a bus. Hey. What's that, Sunshines? What's big and red and, and like a bus but not a bus? Is it a fire truck? 
No, it's a transport. I don't know if pigeons can do things like that, but they can fly. There's lots of good things pigeons can do. I loved reading that book with you because we got to be interactive. That means we got to do things, not just read the book. And I think that's kind of fun, don't you? Thanks for sharing it with me. Why do flamingos have such long necks? I don't know why. Because they don't want to smell their feet. <laughs> oh, oh, Paloma. You're so funny. What is orange and sounds like a parrot? I don't know. A carrot! <laughs> carrot? Parrot? They sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. It's my turn, Paloma. Why did the library lady wear sunglasses? I don't know why. Give up? Because the kids she was reading to were so bright. Well, sunshines, it looks like today we're counting eggs. There's one purple egg there. Here comes number two. Two. Three. What comes next? Four. And the last number we're counting today is five. One, two, three, four, and five. Hmm, that's beautiful. Did you count with me? Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we have five eggs, and I guess we should call them Cinco. Ready? One, two, three, Cinco! Hi. Cinco, we have eggs for your lunch today. Thank you. Okay, everybody, Cinco's going to eat the eggs, and let's count backwards from five. Well, he does. Ready? Five. Four. Now we have three. <laughs> now we have two. Now we have one. There we go. How was that, Cinco? Delicious. Paloma wants to see that again. There's one purple egg there. Here comes number two. Two. Three. What comes next? Four. And the last number we're counting today is five. One, two, three, four, and five. Hmm, that's beautiful. Did you count with me? Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we have five eggs, and I guess we should call them Cinco. Ready? One, two, three, Cinco! Hi. Cinco, we have eggs for your lunch today. Thank you. Okay, everybody, Cinco's going to eat the eggs and let's count backwards from five. Well, he does. Ready? Five. Four. Now we have three. <laughs> now we have two. Now we have one. There we go. How was that, Cinco? Delicious. That reminds me of a story. This story. This is something very interesting. It's got a special symbol on this book to let us know that it's like a Mo Willems book, but it isn't a Mo Willems book. It is by Cherise Miracle Harper. And it's like a Mo Willems book because there's lots of opportunities to participate. 
It's even introduced by some of our Mo Willem's friends. What are you reading, Piggy? Tee hee, nothing. Nothing? I can see you are reading something. I am reading something about nothings. That is something I want to read too. This book is called The Good for Nothing Button. I have a surprise for you, Sunshine. Just a second. I have a good for nothing button. Are you ready for this book? I'm so excited. Here we go. <laughs> There's a little worm saying yikes at the bottom of the page because we have a yellow bird, a red bird, and a blue bird, and birds eat worms. Don't they, Jasper? <laughs> ah, let's see. What does it say? Hey, look. It's Yellow Bird. Hi, Yellow Bird. Look what I have. Wow, 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 wow. I cannot believe it. What is it? It's a button. A red button. Red is my favorite. What does it do? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yes, nothing. Watch. <gasps> What's happening? Can we see? Yellow bird is pressing the good for nothing button. See, nothing. I am pressing the button. Press. Uh, the button did not surprise me. See, the button does nothing. Redbird, now you are sad, and sad is not nothing. That is true. Wait, the button cannot make you sad. The button does nothing. May I try again? Okay, fine. Here goes. Nothing. Press. Wow. <laughs> the button surprised you again. It did. That button makes us happy. Happy button, happy button, happy button. Stop. The button does nothing. Yellow bird is getting annoyed. <gasps> See? Press. I am pressing the button. Press. And nothing is happening. Press. It is a good for nothing button. <laughs> Yellow bird. Uh-oh. The button is making him mad. The button is not making me mad. What do you think, sunshines? I will prove it. I am pressing the button. Press. Look, I am not mad. I am relaxed. Yellowbird does not sound relaxed. Now the button is making him calm. What? <gasps> press, 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 press. The button cannot make me calm or mad or happy or surprised, or scared, or icky, or anything else. <laughs> Yellow bird, we know what the button does. The button makes you funny. Funny? Funny? I like being funny. Funny is fun. Let's all be funny! Press, press, press! How many times did we press that button? One, two, three. <laughs> oh. oh, look at this zany picture. They all have their tongues down. I love it. Mm. Funny, funny, funny. Button. 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 Crash. Wow, that button does everything. That is true. What should we do now? More nothing. Nothing is my favorite. 
This book makes me want to press a button. I do not see any buttons around here. I do. Press? We can pretend our noses are buttons, sunshine. Press? I am impressed. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I loved this book because it was so silly and because I like to press a button. Should we press the button three times? One, two, three. You can press your nose if you don't have a button at home. One, two, three. Thanks for reading with me, sunshines. Guess what I noticed today? My book bag says something strange on it. It says, where the wild things are. Can you see that? Do you think that means there's a wild thing in my book bag? There is. There is the wildest thing I have ever seen at the friendly little library in here. That's right. Oh my goodness. Maybe if we all say, hey, he'll come out. Are you ready? Hey! <gasps> Roar! Oh my goodness, it's Rory the Roaring Rabbit. Hi, Rory. All right, everybody, I'm going to start with the first letter. Oh, please do, I'm so excited. What letter is that? It goes down and across. That's right, it's a T. I knew that. And I know this one because your name starts with this letter. That's right, Rory. It does. It starts with a A. A for Miss Ashley. And there's an A in this word, too. Okay. And then the next letter is right here. Can everybody at home tell me what this letter is? Oh, I heard someone say it. It's an I. And then we have one more letter. Oh, I love drawing this one. Yeah, that one's an easy one to draw. It's just down and over. Do you know what that one is, everyone? <laughs> it is, it's an L. So today we have a T-A-I-L word. Hmm, what does that spell? Tail. Oh, I love it. It makes me wanna roar. My turn! It is your turn, Sadiq. I'm so excited. I'm listening really good. Okay, now that everybody is listening to us, let's sing our alphabet together. Ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <sighs> that was fun. That sounded so good. I'd love to hear it again. Ready? Here we go. A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <sighs> that was fun. That made my day. Oh, I know what we could sing. We could sing Old MacDonald, but only about birds. Let's sing about a farm with just birds on it. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. With a bok bok here and a bok bok there. Here a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok bok. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some, hmm, emus! Ha! E-I-E-I-O. What noise do emus make? How 
how about we make ah! <laughs> with a eh, eh, here and a eh, eh, there, here and eh, there and eh, everywhere and eh, eh. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. Okay, let's do geese. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm, he had some geese. E -I -E -I -O. With a honk honk here and a honk honk there. Here a honk, there a honk, everywhere a honk honk. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And now swans, because I'm a bird. You know what swans say? Swans say, I love you. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some swans, E-I-E-I-O. With an I love you here and I love you there. Here and I love you there and I love you everywhere and I love you. Ha! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That was beautiful. I'm so glad you sang with Sadiq today. I really enjoyed it. Guess what, Sunshines? It's supper time. Supper time? I could eat. Not supper time. Snupper time. S N U P A R. Snupper. 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 What's snupper? <laughs> Sunshines. Are you ready to snuggle up and listen? I am. I have Sadiq here and I have Cinco and we're all snuggled up and ready to hear the story. For our last book today, we have Penguin on and it is by Marcy Colleen and illustrated by Emma Yarlett. And the penguin is an astronaut. I'm very interested in that. Let's see what happens. Oh. Orville, that must be the penguin's name. Oops, Orville was small. I think he was a penguin from a zoo. He seems to have a sign in front of his home. His friends were big. What's got a trunk like that, Sunshine? I think it's an elephant. And their adventures were bigger. What kind of animal is this? It's so big it doesn't fit on the screen. There we go. It's a rhinoceros. And that is a giraffe. Orville longed for big adventures too. One day he announced his plans for the biggest and best adventure yet. But Orville, you're so small. Is that a good idea? What is his plan? Here's a picture of the moon. It says Orville's big adventure to the moon. And the moon is so far away. Hmm. I can do this myself, says Orville. Orville flipped out. He does not like for people to tell him no, he can't do something that he's decided to try. He tried to flap, kerplop. Penguins cannot fly. He tried to climb, whack. The ladder fell over. He tried to catapult, falling, and landed in the reptile house. Orville was pretty sure the boa constrictor was not trying to hug him. Uh-oh, I don't know if they're friends. The boa constrictor is squeezing Orville too tight. Still, Orville kept trying. He borrowed from the zookeeper he nicked from the trash cans, and he built and he built. What does that look like he's building sunshines? I don't know. We'll have to see. And with a shake, shake, shake. How many shakes was that? Shake, shake, shake. Three shakes. 
<laughs> shake, shake, shake of a half-filled soda bottle, the ship was ready for liftoff. <gasps> Eureka! It was perfect and perfectly penguin-sized. He's going to power a rocket with soda pop. <laughs> with a trembling flipper salute, he took his place at the controls. Oh, we get to count backwards from three sunshines. Are you ready? <gasps> three, two, one. I can do this myself. Do you think he can? <gasps> Blast off! Whoosh! The ship zipped through the night sky, through clouds, over stars, and straight to the moon. Bump! Kerplump! Kaboom! Orville landed. His stomach felt queasy, his spacesuit felt squeezy, and now that he'd made it, what would he do? Oh, I'm so proud. He tried and he did. He took a small step. He hopped, did a little dance, and tripped. Oops. Tumble, bumble, ba boing This book has so many neat noises. Should we do that one again? Tumble, bumble, ba boing he somersaulted with stars, cartwheeled over craters, and giggled for all the galaxy to hear. It was the biggest and best adventure yet. He's having a grand time. Oh my goodness. I'm doing it myself, he cheered. But this tiny voice was swallowed up in the starry blackness. Orville stopped. He was alone. There's nobody to share his fun with. His stomach grew queasier, his space suit grew squeezier. He shivered and a note fell out of his pocket. What does the note say, Sunshines? You're our penguinot. We know you can do this. His friends made him a lovely card. He missed his friends. So Orville closed his eyes tightly and imagined they were there. He is imagining the shape of his friends in the starry sky. When he was safely back in his ship, he looked toward home. He couldn't wait to tell everyone about his big adventure. Sure, Orville's friends were big. Now the proud penguinot felt big too. But biggest of all, Look, they're changing the sign in front of his home to say our incredible penguin on. Biggest of all is being together. That's what was out of this world. Up, oh, three, two, one. Blast off. What a fun book. I loved that book because we got to count and we got to go on an adventure to the moon with a penguin. What kind of bird is your favorite bird? I like penguins, but I like flamingos too. I, I might have many favorite birds and that's okay. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. If you liked our stories today, you should check them out at your public library. Bye, sunshines! I'm so glad you came to the friendly little library today. Bye!